That dragon head is the only reason that we've been raiding people. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to Kingdom Craft. So by now you might have seen that we raided CPK's famous end base. And you're probably wondering how we even got into the end since CPK thoroughly protected both the end portal and the spawn platform on the other side. Well, it's kind of a long story that actually took hours to accomplish, but here's the short version. First, we had to get into the end. So Ollie and I set off in search of the stronghold. Once we arrived, we realized that CPK had claimed the land around the end portal, making it rather annoying to find our way in. Wait, I'm in the stronghold. We just need to find the portal. Dang, this is so many bookshelves. I need all these, oh my gosh. I can't have them. You can't get them because it's volcano territory. Oh no. I found it. Hello. Oh my gosh, wait. CPK's end portal. DM me for access, can't you just jump in this block here? Yeah, 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 but I'm worried that if you do, you might die. <laughs> Shall I jump in and test it? Go. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna do it then. Three, two, one, she's gone. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, what? It's claimed by the volcano, so I can't break anything. I don't believe I can chorus root out because I think he's covered everything in water. Yeah, I think he's... Are you trapped? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. I'm in a cage, I'm trapped in a cage basically, but I think there might be a way. So my plan is to use my creeper spawner and push creepers into the end portal to blow up the other side. But we need to test if mobs can go through the end portal first. So we're gonna have to sacrifice this poor innocent dog. He's gone. Well, it works. I feel like the only issue is gonna be getting the creeper into this tiny one block hole. So you could like run here and lure him towards you and then I can just go boop. Okay, we need to find a place that's not claimed that I can put this spawner down. Okay, now do not let the creepers blow up the spawner. Do not go near the creeper when it's near Is the he spawner. coming? No, but don't go near it. Don't, please don't blow up the spawner. Okay, they're here now. So, Lizzie, I need Two help. Two of them, egg. Okay, right. Oh my gosh, what if they blow up the end portal though? Ah, oh my gosh, missed no, no, the no. Steps. run, 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 run. <gasps> ah. Is the portal think... okay? The portal is fine. 12 seconds later. No, 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 do not explode. Uh-oh. Ah. What? It has exploded. The Ollie! Spawner. I didn't try to make it happen. I haven't got another one. And there's only one on the server. And now zero. So Ollie exploded my one of a kind creeper spawner. I was low key devastated by this loss. And now we had to find another way to blow up the end stone cage. Plan B. I'm gonna try and lead this TNT minecart all the way to the portal. Very gently. I can't get this through the blooming door. Well, it turns out that the TNT minecart wouldn't fit through any of the doors in the stronghold. So on to plan C. How about Enderman? They can pick up the blocks. I have an Enderman spawn egg. Let's try it. Don't look at him. Don't spook him. Don't look him in the eye. If you accidentally look him in the eye, just let him kill you. Right. I'm gonna look at the dog. He's just kind of standing there. I'll, I'll do some research. <laughs> Wait, they can't even move Endstone. In which case, now we've just got an Enderman in here. We have to kill him. <laughs> this is where we almost gave up. We tried so many things and none of them were working. Then Ollie remembered that there might be another stronghold and therefore another way into the end. And so once again, we set off in search of an end portal, only this time an undiscovered end portal. This is it. I don't even know if this one's been looted yet. It's got... <gasps> the bookshelves! I'm gonna take all the bookshelves. Oh. Two hours later. The next day. So now that we had unhindered access to an end portal, we could start pushing TNT minecarts in and then blowing them up on the other side. <gasps> it's gone. It is here. And the dog is here. Okay, well, time to die. Oh my gosh, I Wait. hope this works. I have six hearts, I'm definitely dead. Well, we're both definitely dead, don't worry. Oh my, it did, it worked. Update, it's not cleared enough, but it's cleared some. That's fine, this can work. Rest in peace. Yes. <gasps> it's not we, killing we us. We live, yeah. I can't believe this works. This is so funny because this is CPK's method. He loves the minecart in the, with the TNT. Oh, wait, hold on. Below the obsidian bit that you had on the floor, there's like, it's it's open, but I think I can, can I not fly down to the void and then straight out? Shall I come in then? Hello. Yo. 
Nah, but it's so risky. It's such a big, it's such a big move. I'd have to be the best pilot. You just need to go all the way down to the bottom under the island and then fly up to the top of the island and teleport me to you. So I jump? I'm scared. I'm scared, Ollie. What if you don't make it? <laughs> well, then I die and I lose my Elytra and we never play on the server again. So... Oh, you I'm out. You're yeah. on the island? I'm on the top island. Yeah, I can see oh, where all the water is. Oh my gosh, okay. There is wilderness. That was smart. That was cool. <laughs> I'm a sick pilot. All right. This is Carl's base. We're right here. This is it. So how do, would we just have to do the sand cannons to get in? Yeah, we could do sand cannons. Or we could just go through this open door. <laughs> You're joking. I'm not joking. I'm not. Is it Look what he's left out. Huh. <laughs> Look at all the stuff that he left out. This one has tons of TNT, enchanted books, more enchanted books. Okay, it's all kind of a mess. This man is clearly not very organized. Don't know why he's storing dirt in a shulker box, but this is some pretty decent loot. There's a dragon head. Sure we back. Head. Oh my gosh, you got Now we back. gaming. Then something occurred to me. That dragon head is the only reason that we've been raiding people. It was the catalyst for all these unfortunate events. And now that we have it back, we can stop. Should we just take that? Because we only came after them because they stole your head, remember? Right, that's not very villainous. But maybe it is. Because isn't it the ultimate villain act to turn into the good guys? <laughs> I've lost a lot of things to those three. I would like to take what I would like. I can't decide. I really can't decide, Ollie. Well, I'm going to keep going through his stuff. So I guess we won't be turning into the good guys anytime soon. Actually, you know what? My chests are kind of empty. I would like to fill them out. And then I think before we leave, we should respawn the Ender Dragon. I like the plan. <laughs> it's a good plan. Right, okay. So I'm going to craft the End Crystals. Oh, I've done it. Oh my gosh, I'm really scared. What if it just kills us straight away? Oh my god. Where is it? Oh my gosh. It's oh, gaining power. Okay. Oh, it's above us. It's firing at me. Okay. <gasps> cool. I've seen it now. Really, an really achievement. Not. And the now we leave this for CPK to deal yes. with. Yes. This is spooky. I don't like it. Let's leave. <laughs> so that is the story of how we got into Callum's end base. And we even managed to collect a load of bookshelves to fill out my library. I'm still not sure this will be enough bookshelves to fill the entire room, but let's see how much it will do. What is that? Oh my god, it's an Enderman. It's an Enderman holding the block. Hello, can I help you? How peculiar. Is the whole room done? I can't believe we actually finished the room. I thought this would never happen. It's so beautiful. I hope this doesn't accidentally catch fire, because that would be a great loss. Now before we do anything else on my base today, I have a secret meeting to attend behind the blacksmiths. Gamerbury, Megan, I have brought you here today to initiate you into the League of Villains. But we have to go somewhere a little more secret. Guys, follow me. I have an arrangement with Tobias. He allows oh. me to use his private space for secret meetings. Oh. oh, is Tobias a villain too? He doesn't like to talk about it, but yes, he is. So, Megan, here I have the contract for you. Please read it carefully, agree to the terms, and sign only when you are ready. She signed it. She is one of us. Well, I'm poor again, but I'm a villain. Now that you're an official member, you've signed the paperwork, you've paid your membership fees, we can invite you to the villain base. So, Joel, if you'd <gasps> like to take us there. Welcome. Welcome! The League of Villains grows stronger every day. And thanks to Joel, we have a wonderful new villain base to reside in. And today we can also do some work on my underground wilderness project. As adorable as these little cows are, this place is looking kind of sad right now, especially compared to the amazing villains base. So I've done a little bit of work and expanded the area beyond this wall. As you can see, I am an insane person. <laughs> this is what I've done. And now my animals will have much more room to roam. All we need to do is break down this containment structure. There. Be free, my bovine beauties and my chicken friends. I think it would actually be kind of cool if we could separate this area into different kinds of biomes for each of the animals to be in. So I think the easiest one would be to start with a mushroom biome. So I've separated off a little island there and I'm gonna try and make it so that the animals can't cross over from one island to the next. So this may or may not work, but I'm going to make some fences, place them down and then Put some carpet over that. And that's supposed to kind of look like a river separating them. And it may or may not stop the cows. <laughs> 
Well, I guess we just have to test it. Right, he totally will. <gasps> oh my gosh. They're just walking right over it. My plan has failed. Okay, let's test out this new design. We'll see if the cow will follow me across here. Please don't. Ooh. Ooh. It's working. Perfect. Now we can just place the mycelium on this little island here. Let's also do some raised bits on the island just to make it look a little bit more natural. And of course, no mushroom island would be complete without some giant mushrooms. So let's remove a few of these torches. Plant one of these and grow it. Yes, perfection. We should probably move the spawner over to there. That would make sense. So the next biome I'm going to build is a tropical island. There. Does it look weird? <gasps> Wait, this shouldn't be grass. This should be sand because it's a tropical island. I guess it's time to deface the desert kingdom. Not that it could get much uglier than it already is. So let's replace this with sand instead. There, my tropical island is complete. I think we need a palm tree to make this look better. I'm going to use jungle planks to make a beautiful palm tree. We will even put some coconuts at the top. There, how does that look? Ooh, I think it's ready for some sea turtles. So here we've got three turtle eggs. I'm just going to place them on this big beach and hopefully they don't notice it's not a real one. And then I also have some name tags for when they hatch. One eternity later. A turtle has hatched. And I'm gonna give this one the most highly requested name in the comments last time. Yes, you guessed it. Turtle Jeremy, my first born turtle son. Now we just need my other eggies to hatch. We got another hatcher. This one I'm gonna call Squidward. Oh my gosh, why is he so cute? The final turtle has hatched. And I'm naming this one Squirtle with this hilarious misspelling because this comment made me laugh way more than it should have. So there we have our little three baby turtles. That's it for this episode of Kingdom Craft. Please leave a comment down below telling me which biome you would like me to create next. And also what I should replace the cobblestone walls with because they are hideous. Ugh. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time.